Thank you for tuning in to the Law Nation Film Session. As we take a deeper look at T.Y. Hilton, first and foremost, he's 5'10", 184 pounds, and he's still quick. He's elusive, and we're going to look at the last two seasons of T.Y. Hilton. What we're looking for is he better than any of the wide receivers currently that the Cowboys have on their team. Now, the rumor is Pat McAfee talked to T.Y. and he said he's been in communications with the Dallas Cowboys. So let's look into this. T.Y. Hilton as a third option for the Cowboys. Is there a possibility? Now, we do know that the Cowboys picked up James Washington for a cup of coffee, but we still do our evaluation. Player evaluation is 365. We're going to look into this skill set of T.Y. And like I said, we're not going to go all the way back. He had eight touchdowns or what have you in the last two seasons. So we're going to pull up every touchdown that he had as well as his route running ability. Create separation at the top of the route here. A little push off, good veteran move at the top of the route. You can get physical a little bit. And he knows the ball. He brought the ball in with his hands. Dropping of the ball is not his problem at all. The only problem with T.Y., is health right it's hard for him to stay on the field because of health reasons he got the top of the defense on this one and get the separation got the ball down to the five i like seeing that taking the top off the defense good pass by the quarterback on this play this was when philip rivers were playing for the coach the previous season and he's able to connect with ty and of course TY 101 to the outside, there's something that you really have to pay close attention to, and he's able to get the ball down the field. This is a touchdown off the very next play. Fade ball to the end zone here. We like seeing this, Cowboy Nation. The ability to high point the ball, bring it in to his body. That's pretty good. Got him on a stutter go. And on the outside, the footwork is there, baby. Watch how you get him. He put him in the blender. One on one to the outside, climbs inside. Right, he playing with leverage. You know he got inside help, and he's giving his man the outside release here, and he does not <laughs> recover. Good move by T. Y. to play that game like he's going to the inside and then drift off to the edge there and nose the ball, bring it inside to his body. All right, so let's look into this play right here. Play action, drops back the quarterback, look to the middle of the field, he curls catches the ball come back to the ball and greets the ball and that's pretty good and this touchdown right here and ty is able to get the separation on a drag and brings it in for a touchdown and that's not bad at all you want to be able to do these type of plays to stretch the middle of the field look at the separation is there so speed is available for this man and it's still there and it's prominent so he's able to decrease that play and get money on the field and come back back shoulder fade oh my god yeah that's how you run that hey he fades like he's going up he sells the vert and come back toward the ball on the outer edge and look yeah he come back to the ball that's route running there's nuances there that mean he still got those good feet and i like what i'm seeing out of ty boundary is his friend and even though the ball was thrown into the inside shoulder, he's still able to make plays on that. And this is the same play from earlier, stretching the field and getting upfield. I like seeing that. And deep out, I love it. He didn't curl his route. He sold it. He gave the impression that he's going to take his route to the middle of the field. He squeezes at the top of his route, and he's able to get there. Watch, Van low. Yeah. Ooh, that one dip right there. People don't see it. It's subtle. Right here at the top of the route. That jab step right here, bah! <laughs> that's what got him to open up right here. And the back door is open, and he's able to find that area. That's all route running. That's all nuances there. You didn't know that he was going to go to the outside there until he break at the top right there. Good play. Good play and good route recognition by uh, T.Y. to get that opening there. He sold it pretty good. All right, so T.Y. here at the bottom of the screen. Looks like it's going to be one-on-one -on -one coverage. This is shotgun. They are in the gold zone, red zone, money zone situation. And moss them. Come down with the ball and look down at them. I like saying that. Yeah. Moss them, baby. Give me this ball. <laughs> Did he look at him? I love it. Yeah. So the old man still got some move at 32 years of age. And he takes the top off the defense on this play and scores the touchdown. Good play. Good play to save. And look at the separation, Cowboy Nation. And when you look at that, that, that right there, separation, that speed, that's showing that this guy still have the ability to run 
and with good speed. I like seeing that out of T.Y. Hilton. And, of course, touchdown. Found a soft spot in the zone, sat down on it, and was able to score six points off of this. And that's good recognition. Now, this is against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just last season. He's able to get a good touchdown on an out. Not bad at all. Separation there. Yep. Got there. Good touchdown by T.Y. Hilton. All right. So, they motion 21. It's in the shotgun. T.Y. is open now. Nice play design. Drag across the middle there. And he's able to find that soft spot. Sit down on it. And Carson Wentz is able to connect with T.Y. Look. Sneaky. Short, small, and still quick, and he's able to put money out there. Let's take a look into this film right here. He drops back, throws out, and he catches them sleeping, napping on the job right here. Watch how he squeezes inside. Here's your slot wide receiver. He's going to run pretty much a drag and keep it right in the middle of the field looking for the open spot. Yeah, give him some busy work. Curls right inside. Speed kills. Speed kills. Watch how he get to this level so quickly that this DB flips off or drop off into a zone look. It creases. Creases. Buda Baker have no chance or no, no way to catch up with that speed there. And he catches this ball and get out of bounds. Shout out to T.Y. Hilton for finding the deep spot in the zone there and able to get upfield. Good route recognition. Curve. Not stopping on his route. And continue to go through his running of the ball and catching the ball with his hands. I like seeing his Cowboy Nation. All right, so here's another play. Let's see what happened. Carson Wentz play play action. All right, people in the face. Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Run with me. <laughs> what do we have here now? And that's just one of the situations there. Just good ball awareness. Being around the ball, knowing that this is a Hail Mary situation, and just have the soft hands. Good way for the ball to magically fall in his arm. All right, so overall, I look at T.Y. Hilton as a guy that's, in my opinion, better than Noah Brown. I think that he will bring in an extra element to the game. Uh, and I'm not trying to put Noah Brown on the front street, but I believe that experience with T.Y. brings a lot to the table. And if you really want to think about this as far as T.Y. versus Simbi Fihoko, maybe you bring in somebody of that element of experience to help Simbi Fihoko out. I believe also this will be a situation where T.Y. will get the one-on-ones to the outside. All of the focus and concentration will be on, dare I say, T.D. Lamb. So that's the situation there. Now, what to do about James Washington? Well, you make this a competition. You don't give James Washington a comfortable bed. No, you say, hey, you will have to fight for this role for the third wide receiver option and see who all will shake it out at the end. Of course, ultimately, the Cowboys do believe in Michael Gallup. So the position belongs to Michael Gallup as the second wide receiver. First wide receiver, CeeDee Lamb. The third and fourth wide receiver are always up for grabs. And the Cowboys should ultimately look into this thing as it relates to wide receiver. Still look into the draft. And still work out TJ Vasher and whoever else that's on this roster. But you still always like to bring in talent. Always like to bring in experience. Should the Cowboys go crazy with the money? No, they're not going to do that for T.Y. Hilton. Keep in mind, he's 32 years old. So that's, that's a long tooth. So if it's a reasonable price, I don't see no harm at it. I don't think that he's washed to the degree where he can't run routes. I think the routes are still there. I think the speed level is still there. So, hey, bring him in for a cup of coffee. Maybe this would be the good time to bring him in for that one-year rental. Post me your thoughts. Post me your concerns of T.Y. Hilton. Or should the Cowboys continue to kick the can down the road? That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys.